I was 22 and he was actually 21. We were technically virgins when we got married. He just kept like pushing into me and I'm, and I'm telling him it, it's bad, dude. Like it's not good. And he's, he's spouting off all this shit about you, you, you're just still clinging to the, the idea that you're not supposed to do it. I lost my virginity at the age of 23 in this basement apartment. It's now a flower shop called Bloom next to a salon called Shag. Given all the buildup, I expected something momentous. But it was more like a guy put his penis into my vagina and poof, I was no longer a virgin. You know, it starts out simple. Someone who's never had sex is a virgin. Okay, great. What's sex? My definition of sex is... Vaginal intercourse. Intercourse. An exchange of feelings and emotions, passions, and bodily fluids. Or there, there was different type of versions, like, you know, an anal version, an oral version, and uh, the three versions. We hear girls talking about this idea of being technically a virgin, on where it's almost more important these days to be a virgin than it was you know, 15 years ago. They kind of make the girls feel that the boys, you know, have a, all of this sex drive going, and somehow it's their responsibility to, to control that. Abstinence-only education is telling you not to, and Girls Gone Wild is telling you how to. It's really very much the same message, that your sexuality doesn't belong to yourself, that someone else is there to tell you what to do with your sexuality, um, but be very careful because who you are as a person is completely tied up with your sexuality. Virginity is everywhere. It's marketed by the wedding industry. Do you think this will make me more virginal? Do you think I could like re-virginize myself in a dress like this? You are virginal in <laughs> I am. <laughs> what is are the famous uh, barely legal white panties. Virginity is fetishized by porn. What, what does it mean? You know, it's, it's kind of that fetishy, kind of kinky thing where it's that pure yep. image. You can buy virginity on the internet for $29.90. Virginity is sold to the highest bidder. A 22-year-old woman named Natalie is auctioning off her virginity. Virginity is a reality TV spectacle. And all over the country, fathers are taking their daughters to purity balls. I pledge from this day forward. She pledges her sexual purity to God. To embrace purity of mind? To embrace purity of mind. I can offer myself as a priceless gift. And he becomes its sacred guardian until he surrenders it to her husband. I didn't take a purity pledge, but I still waited. And when I finally gave it up, it wasn't because I had found Mr. Wright. I had just grown tired of waiting for him. I really believe that the only reason I got married so young was for sex. I've gone as far as like kissing people and stuff, but once you do it, it's kind of like there's no turning back. I actually lost my virginity twice. People are fascinated with someone that decides not to have sex, and they really look for that thing that's wrong with you, like, she's not fat, she's not Mormon. There is this entity, virginity, it exists as a real thing, and you should keep it. It's kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? A what? Well, if you say you haven't, you're a prude. If you say you have, you're a slut. It's a trap. Why do we give virginity so much value and meaning? How do we undo the power of this elusive, mysterious, and not always precious gift? <laughs>